welcome back to Eleanor Stark's episode of a series of final episodes where we attempt to kill series loser and two-time murder escapee Cassandra Goff. What does she have planned for today? Nothing. We are going to kill Cassandra Goff. We're going to do it by whatever means necessary. First step, why don't we get Cassandra Goff into our home? That's always the first step. We're going to have to call her first because she's not friendly enough with us to come to our house. What a pain. What a pain. Is she friendly with anyone else? Oh, of course, we don't have Weldon. We got a divorce because of our whole situation with Iron, who we're in love with. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Uh, let's... No, 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 let's not call Weldon. We're getting distracted. Who are we calling? Cassandra Goff. There, weird hair. We know who she is. Call her. Uh, just talk to her for now. We need to build up a relationship whilst we plot on how to kill her. She's immune to water. And she can escape through locked doors. So, our best bet is fire. How are we going to burn her, though? That I don't know. Do you have any vacation days? Yeah, don't go to work. We've got bigger fish to fry. Uh, you, got, you can't even do it because you've got little ones at home. So stop weeping and continue to talk to nice, friendly Cassandra. She's going to help us out. She's going to help us out greatly by dying. Is she, was she friendly? Oh, God. Who is it now? Are you answering your mobile phones? I in front of the phone. Well, whoever it is, we don't care. We just, we just don't care. We're not going downtown. We have a mission. It's very important, Eleanor. It's more important than going to bed. It's vastly more important than going to bed. Come on. Come on. Answer the phone. Here we go. Who are we going to call? Cassandra. Well, Cassandra is out working unlike somebody. Well, fine. You have the nerve to get a job? I will go to sleep. I don't need you anyway, Cassandra. We have plenty of time to wait to kill you. Can you please just go to bed? Children, go busy yourself with whatever stupid stuff you do all the time. Yeah, let's go to sleep. We don't need to wait around for Cassandra. Why are you not? Oh, the radio's on. Stop trying to go to sleep. You're gonna have to turn the radio off before you go to sleep. You see, you see, you can't sleep because of the radio. See, so yeah, you have to turn these things off. Like, honestly, these people, they're not very smart. They're not very smart, but we love them anyway, because they're determined, determined to kill Cassandra Goff. How, well, how long do you think it took Cassandra Goff gets off work? Can't believe she got a job. How inconsiderate is that? She, she never makes time for us, that woman. Never. Never, never, never. Right, oh, you're, honestly, Richard. Why do you keep turning on the radio, Richard? Do you hate us? I hate myself, but I don't turn the radio on when I go to sleep, because I'm the one asleep. So how about that, Richard? That made no sense. Oh my god, Cassandra still out working? Can Cassandra get a life? Jeez. Let's have lunch. We, I think we should try and burn Cassandra, you know? Because we can easily trap her in the kitchen, and then it's just a matter of burning down the kitchen. It's going to cost us some money in the form of furniture. But maybe we'll get the furniture out of there before we burn the kitchen. I don't know. We're going to torch our own house. And, yeah, that's the plan for the day. We're going to set the house on fire. We've always made the joke that Eleanor Stark is an arsonist. So why not embrace it? It's what she's good at. She's got it in her. She can do this. Is Cassandra Goff out from her job yet? Invite her over. Oh. If my wanting to see you was on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say no. Well, you know what, Cassandra? If my wanting to kill you was on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say 11, because you're the worst. So I'm just going to keep talking to you until you change your mind. You're so desperate for attention, you will easily fall for this again. Honestly, Cassandra Goff, what an idiot. She's, someone is nice to her, invites them over, and locks her in the bathroom, and she escapes that. Someone who's a known friend of the original person then calls her, is nice to her, invites her over, and tra traps her in a swimming pool, and she escapes that. And then someone else, who is also of close relation to the original two people, is calling her and being nice to her, and she's not smart enough to realise that she's walking into another trap. Uh -huh. Honestly. 
Oh, it's another birthday party. A double one. Fantastic. I do love killing people on parties. Is she friendly enough to come over to my house yet? Eleanor, what do you... No, Eleanor, no. Is that appropriate? No. no. The phone's ringing again. This house. Who is it? Hi, I'm Benjamin. Since my friend Campbell... No, stop inviting us downtown. Jeez. God, Eleanor's Mrs. Popular today, isn't she? Well, Miss Popular, because you got divorced. Come over to my house, Cassandra. I have fun things planned for you to do. Oh, did you make a bait to Alaska? Oh, my God. Just... You're so fussy. You're such an absolute ass. How nice do I have to be to you? It pains me to be nice to you, because you're actually the worst. 50, is that not enough? 55, is that not enough? Oh, my God. Now she hangs up. Cassandra, we will not leave you alone. We're not going to do this, Cassandra. You're going to come to my house. Otherwise, I'm going to say kill you. Well, I'm going to kill you either, either way. Is 65 not enough? Jeez, you want the moon on the stick? You do, Cassandra. Are you not going to consider us a friend? No, invite her over again. We're not going to bed, Eleanor. You went to bed at like 11am. Do you not remember that? Who are we inviting over? Oh, God, I'm really distracted today. Why don't we invite over Cassandra Girl? Huh? So, I suppose coming over couldn't hurt. Oh, if you knew the irony of your words, Cassandra Goff, this is going to hurt very much. Here she is. Get her. Right, greet Cassandra Goff. Greet her. Greet her. Welcome, Cassandra. Welcome to my lovely home. It is a pleasure to see you. Always is. Why don't you come with me to the kitchen? Leave Lady Macbeth the cat alone. Lady Macbeth really wants you to come to the kitchen. She loves to kill other people. That's Lady Macbeth's whole thing. Come on, Cassandra. Why don't you come with me to the kitchen, Cassandra? <sighs> okay, Anna, why don't you get the plan underway? Go to the fridge. We need to have dinner. We need to have a TV dinner. We need to put it in the oven where the nice hotness is. Come on, Eleanor. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace, Eleanor. Pick up the pace. Yeah, no, you're standing in the way of Cassandra Goff getting in the kitchen now. Oh, God, how are we going to... The kitchen's too narrow. How are we going to get Cassandra Goff in the kitchen whilst getting Eleanor stuff out of the kitchen? Right, we're going to have to start moving some objects out of the kitchen because we don't want to lose our kitchen. That's valuable. We've just got to... we got to strip the kitchen. Strip the kitchen. Only an oven. That's what we're prepared to lose. Now, go deeper in the kitchen. Go deeper into the kitchen. Cassandra Goff. When you, no, 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 Cassandra, go off. No, 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 Cassandra. We need you here in the kitchen. Cassandra. No, no, no. Do not get the TV dinner. Cassandra, Goff, Please come and join us. Oh, better get rid of the fire alarm. Please come and join us in the kitchen, Cassandra. We have important business for you to attend to in the kitchen. Please come here. The cat will need to leave the kitchen. Come on, please enter the kitchen. Right, now, Eleanor, quietly leave the kitchen. No, Eleanor. Oh my god, you're going to be in there with the cat. Quietly leave the kitchen. Cat. Cat. Nope. Now Cassandra Goff. Okay, right. Get the TV dinner. We've blown it. We've blown it. We've blown it. We've blown it. Now we're going to set our own house ablaze and Cassandra Goff's not in front of the oven. She's honestly she's such a bitch. Right, go away. Right. That was failed attempt number one. We're going to need the whole family on this. Richard, why don't you go over here? Why don't you call the cat? Go and... Pay attention to the cat, Richard. Eleanor? Eleanor, you feed the cat? Very good. Food, the cat's like that. Now, we're gonna go and we're gonna get another TV dinner. We're gonna get another TV dinner. Cassandra, you have a wonderful time. You seem to really enjoy that television. Maybe we should move the television into the kitchen. No, then we'll lose, then we'll get the television will burn down. Oh, Everyone's distracted by the, yeah, cat hiss at her. Very well done, Lady Macbeth. That is the correct response. Right, like, Cassandra, Cassandra, you're needed in the kitchen. Cassandra, Cassandra. We can't call her over because she's too close. Oh, you bitch child, honestly, you ruined this. Go stand in the garden and think about what you've done. Stop talking to her, you're distracting her. No, 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 oh my. Second attempt, we blew it. We blew it, we blew it again. Right. Have a TV dinner. We're going to get the TV dinner. No, why are we why are we stuck? Oh, you absolute pain in the ass. No, not a salad. No, oh god, it's the children. The children are being the worst. Right, okay, right. Okay, children, children. 
Why don't you all go to bed? Both of you, kids, to bed. It's 11 p.m. You mommy is doing some important business work right now that involves killing. We are going to have to, like, put a chair in there or something. Sort of distract her. Get her to go sit in the chair or something. Get a TV dinner. Get the dinner. Get the dinner. Cassandra, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. Just stay at my house. Don't even know now she's eating the TV dinner. Oh, you are a pain in the ass. You are a pain in the ass. Are you aware of how much of a pain in the ass you are? Right, we're going to go away from her. Now, we can't call her over because she's busy eating. Oh, that woman. Come on, Cassandra. I want to admire you. You love that. You love attention. What do you think you're doing? I told you to go to bed. You... Ooh. Cassandra, come and join us in the kitchen. Right, she's on the move. She's on the move. Just get her to come over so we can talk to her. No, don't come over to her. Oh, Eleanor, you use this woman. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Oh, she's gone outside. We, we, don't, we don't want to set the house place. We blew it, we blew it, we blew it. We're going to need a better, we're going to need a more sophisticated plan. This is not going well. We need something to lure her into the kitchen. For a start. How can we... Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I have a plan. I have a plan. Right. It's a vastly more complicated plan. We're going to go into the kitchen. Cassandra, could you please join us in the kitchen? We want to tell you a joke. Just go... No, 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 no. Not, not the bed. Not the bed. The kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Eleanor, if you're going to complain... They, oh gosh, she's gonna pass out. <sighs> We've blown it. We've blown it again. Go. Oh my god. You're the worst. Eleanor, uh, now she's fell asleep standing up and Cassandra Goff has left. Okay. Right. Well, in terms of success, there was no success. We're going to try again. Cassandra, if you could just wake up from sleeping standing up, Eleanor, like a weirdo, like that would really help. Wake up, Eleanor. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, we've got this, we've got this. Basically, the plan, the plan. We get Cassandra Goff in the kitchen before we light the fire. Then we light the fire and we leave Cassandra Goff because I don't think Cassandra Goff will take it out of the oven herself. I don't think she's intelligent enough to do that. I think if we can get her in the kitchen and we smuggle Eleanor out of the kitchen somehow, if we could get all in the kitchen. She's getting scared, that's the thing. Once we get her in the kitchen, and we don't ourselves go in the kitchen, she knows what we're up to. And there's a lot of trash everywhere, but honestly, we're on a mission. We're on a mission. The house is a bit of a mess. We're doing some construction work. At least that's what we're going to tell the police when they come and investigate. But the police in this town, let's be real, we're going to get off. We're going to get off with the crime. Right, we know Cassandra Goff has a job now, so we better hurry up. We better turn off that bloody radio, otherwise I'm going to kill someone. And then we're going to invite over Cassandra Goff so I can kill someone. Go to the phone. I know you're tired again, Eleanor. You're going to be tired. There's going to be a lot of sleepless nights. Because we've got a lot of important work to do. Why don't you come over to my house, Cassandra Goff? We had such a fun time. Yeah, it was nice of me to invite you. Believe me, it's not because I like you very much. Right, we're going to go stand in the kitchen. Children, you snotty brat. You were always trying to derail my plan. Go in the shower. Busy yourself. I know you can't access the bin. I know you can't access the bin. I'm sorry, but it's not important right now. Go and have a shower. Every child in the shower right now. Where is Cassandra Goff? She's going to be arriving soon. Here she is. Go and greet her. Go and greet her. You go in the shower. Get in the shower. No, you're out of the shower. Look, you need to find something to busy yourself with. Go outside and... Ellen needs to be working an hour. Go sit in the car. Go sit in the car. No, no, no. Yeah, right, you're not going to work. Good. We're not going to work. We're not going to... We have vacation time. This is what vacation time is intended for. Murdering... Your neighbours. Yeah, she is our neighbour. She lives right there. So, come on. Come on, Eleanor. Come on. Back in the house. Back in the house. We're going to do it in the kitchen. And we're going to hang out in the kitchen. And we're going to have a fun time. That's what we're going to do. We're going to buy... We're going to buy a television. What? That cheap $85 television. We're going to put it here, in the kitchen. And we're going to even provide Cassandra with a nice seat to sit on. In her little cell. And then we're going to just hide away the real television so Cassandra Goff cannot use it. 
Cassandra, why don't you go and watch some TV? It's right here, Cassandra. Do you want to go watch the television? I think you do. I think you want to watch the television. I think you want to get out of my hallway and go and watch the television, Cassandra. I, I'm, I've given you a space. Come on, let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. No, 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 Eleanor. Not outside. The kitchen. Richard, you snotty brat. Leave the bloody television alone. Go to bed. You. Call her over. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You honestly are the worst children in the world. She's getting the video game console. She's putting it down. She's coming in the kitchen. Yes. Right, fantastic, 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 fantastic. Right, now we're going to get toaster pastry. Bear with me, Cassandra. Have fun in the kitchen. Have a fun, fun, fun time. There's a television right there. Do you want to watch it? Do you want to play some video games? Oh my god, who's going to do something else? We do not need to fear. It's only a matter of time. We know Cassandra. She cannot go. Oh my god, if the children give her attention, she can. God, the kids. The kids are the issue. Go and clean. Go and clean, Cinderella. Right, it's in the oven. We shouldn't have put it in the oven so early. What's she going to do now? Come on, Cassandra. Call her over. Call her over. Now is our chance. Now is our chance. Now is our chance, Eleanor. Oh my god, Lady Macbeth. You're supposed to hiss at her. Lady Macbeth, you're supposed to hiss at her. If you're so hungry, go and get some food. God, you're like an infant. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Elna, if you did not left that room, she'd have been in the kitchen. <gasps> get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Fantastic work, Eleanor. It took a long time. It was very difficult. More difficult than I would say it had to be. But now we can put our barbed wire fencing. And we've built a little dungeon for Cassandra. And we're going to need some flammable items to set her on fire with. So, let's. what's flammable? We're going to need rugs. Everyone loves rugs. They're flammable. Not, not expensive rugs. We're not splashing out for Cassandra girl. She just needs enough rugs to make her die. Uh, is there a big rug? Yeah, big rug. Yeah, do you want some more rugs, Cassandra? You have a bath mat. Yeah, have one of those. Do you want... That's not really a rug, is it? Yeah, have some rugs just all around you. Yeah, have a big fish rug. That's really nice. Classy. Everyone likes fish. I don't know why we're doing it like that now. When we need some sort of flammable objects that can go in the way of you and the exit, because I know who I know how you are. Have that flammable. Have firecrack. No, that, no, they're already flammable. Have balloons. We are gonna have lots and lots of balloons, Cassandra, because this is an event to be celebrated. Now, Eleanor, you can go to bed. Your job is done here. Uh, children, I don't. You're really. You've annoyed. You've annoyed me today. You've really, you've put a wrench in your parents' abilities. You just sit there, Cassandra, and watch that television, because you're an idiot. And I don't think you can survive this. Even though you avoided starvation and drowning, you can't avoid fire. No one can avoid fire. Eleanor Stark, the arsonist, knows that for sure. Oh, look, it's burning, Cassandra. The house is ablaze. What are you going to do? Hopefully burn to death. She's gone from the furthest corner from the fire. Because she's the worst. She's the worst. But the fire will spread. The fire will spread. I believe in the fire and the abilities of the fire to spread. Spread, fire, spread. Do it. There's so many flammable objects around. You burn my house down easily enough when there's no flammable objects around. You should be able to do this, fire. Right, oh yes, the TV's gone. The, the kids are loving it. Ellen is in bed. The maid is just walking past. Nothing concerns her. Honestly, everyone in town hates Cassandra Goff so much that she could literally be burning to death before their eyes and no one would care enough to do anything. This is just as a testament to how many enemies you've made in this town, Cassandra. Nobody cares. We're in a house full of people and nobody is coming to save you. How does that make you feel, Cassandra Goff? Come on. You're so close, Mr. Fire. You've just got to do the last corner. You can do this. I believe in you. Look how and stupid and annoying she is. I know you hate her too. She must have committed various atrocities against the Fire Nation and its Fire People. Come on. The chair's made of wood. You can do that. Balloons, they're made of plastic. They just, oh, it's just so oh, easily. The rug. You've only got half the rug. Oh, it's got the chair. Oh, it's got the balloons. Oh, Cassandra, can you feel your fate? 
Can you feel your fight, Cassandra? Can you feel your fight? She can feel her fight. Oh, everyone's having problems with the bin. Well, I can't move the object because we're mistook in sort of fire mode. Oh, yes. Oh, she's burning. She's burning. Cassandra Goff is burning. Cassandra Goff is burning. Do, 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 do. Everyone's having a party because Cassandra Goff is dying. Oh. Oh. I thought she disappeared, but no, she's just running around. Cassandra, are you not, are you not dead? Are you not burning to death? What's going on? She's not burning. She's immune to fire. She's not dying. Are you kidding me? Cassandra? How is she doing this? What is this woman capable of? Honestly. This woman, she is... What is going on? You're standing in fire, Cassandra. By all logic, you should be burning. What a speed up time. She's she's not burning. What is going on with her? What are we? How are we going to get rid of Cassandra Goff if she's immune to all forms of death? And how is it possible that she is? This woman is insane. How can she do this? She is ruining the series. She is ruining it. She's ruining the series. You are a ruiner, Cassandra. You ruin this for us. The vote is next episode. It's not going to look good for everyone who's failed to murder you. This woman. This woman. I'd say we leave her locked up and wait for her to starve to death. But if we're going on this record, I don't think she can. I think she's somehow immune to death in all ways. Pump things up with her. She just stood in a burning room and didn't die. That, that is some Satan level of black magic right there. <sighs> what is to be done about you, Cassandra? What is to be done about you? You are easily the most annoying villain we have. Okay, everyone's having a bin problem because I can't move the bin. I can move the fr I can move the fridge, of course. Right, go. The bin is available again. How? 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 This woman. What is she capable of? There's something up with her where she can't die. I'm a little bit disturbed by this. You know what? You know what? I have a plan. All right, we are here with the Goff family household. I know that this woman has wronged us all and she has avoided killing by every single one of my sims who has tried. So we have only one last recourse. We must fight Cassandra with Cassandra. This will prove whether she is killable or whether she is some kind of immortal being. Because we're all wondering it. How this this woman has half a million dollars in her bank account. It's not surprising that she'd be able to afford whatever kind of witch magic that got her into this state. I don't know how. And I know it's not going to be as satisfying as if one of our sims had killed Cassandra. But the, she has to be stopped. She is immortal. We have The only way we can kill her is with Cassandra herself. At least I hope. If she survives this, there's no hope for any of us. Because, I don't know, the, the, I've got an assumption I'm running off that maybe Sims can't die in a lot that isn't their own house. Because that would make a bit of sense, don't you think? It's Sims 2, limitations of the game and all. Maybe Cassandra just simply can't die in a lot that isn't her house. And since you can't visit other people's houses in The Sims 2, this is the only way we'd ever get to killing her. So, you know, it might not be as satisfying, but when Cassandra Goff is dead... Oh god, there's a fire alarm. When Cassandra Goff is dead, we can all rest easy at night, knowing this menace is off the streets for good. So, without further ado, 
I bring to you, loyal viewers of Days of Our Lives, what you've been waiting for. No, you absolute pain in the ass. No, you can't use the phone because now I trapped you here. Put something in the oven, and then I'm going to make sure this time that you don't do anything with it. Oh, you put the. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what are you doing now? You're trying to answer the phone. No, no, just stop everything. I can't move that. Well, it's fine, it's fine. Because now you've moved in a position where I can put a tape. Oh my god, the game is spinning. Stop spinning. Uh oh, there's been a there's been a bit of an issue. A very hilarious issue, but still. Uh oh. No, stop spinning. Oh god, what is going on? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Right, we're gonna ignore that. And commence with the burning of Cassandra Goff. What Days of Our Lives viewers have been waiting for since the inception of this series. And she's not gonna ruin it this time. She's not gonna ruin my big speech and my big moment. We finally bested the beast. The phone, you're not gonna to get to answer the phone. Believe in me, or it's not gonna be someone inviting you over. Is that the only phone in this massive house? Oh God, it's burning. We're missing the moments here. I'm gonna look for a phone. Yep. Not even your own family can. Not even your own father. And your son? Brother? Either way, no one cares. No one cares. You're dying and no one cares. How does that feel, Clank? And you can't avoid this one. At least I hope to the sweet baby Jesus. Not even all your vast riches that you probably got through crooked and illegal schemes can save you now, Cassandra. You are going to burn to death. You're going to do it. We're going to, you're going to burn. We're going to speed up time. The fire's going to spread. Oh yes. Here it comes. Here it comes, Cassandra. Here it comes. Here it comes. Can you feel your fate? Can you feel your fate? Can you feel your fate? This time it's really coming, Cassandra. Really this time. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. You can't use your witchy magic. Yeah. Burn. Do it. How's everyone else doing? Mortimer? You're a bitch too. Don't think I've forgotten what you did to me, Brown. Why don't you light that fire? Hopefully it'll kill you. Uh, you, you're a nice one. Well done. I mean, I am killing the rest of your family, but... Oh, she is trying to escape. She can't. She's avoiding the fire, though. Cassandra, just... can I tell you to walk into the flames? Oh, she's burning. She's on fire. Oh, God, that's what we've always wanted. Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I've got to get a screenshot. Oh, God, nothing feels as good as this. Oh, yes. Oh, let's go closer, let's go closer, we want... Oh, that's perfect. It's beautiful, it's touching. And I know it deleted the screenshot from the last episode that I didn't have time to put on. But, oh look, the ghosts from your family graveyard, like have I mentioned she has a bunch of bodies buried in her garden, are here and they are cheering that you are now among them. Yes. Just die, Cassandra. Do it. Give us the satisfaction of being the ones who killed you. Think in your dying moments all of the terrible things you've done to us and why you have now been condemned to the fires of hell, which is just going to be like this kitchen over and over again. Here's the Grim Reaper, the man himself. They can't get to him. Sad for them. Oh, her name's on the list to go to hell, is it? Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? I always thought Cassandra Goff was a virtuous person. Oh, yeah, get on your cell phone. It's time to call up Satan. Oh, I've got one for you. Oh, Cassandra Goff, you've been waiting for a while. Oh, no, oh, she's the worst one you've ever got. Oh, yeah, well. Oh. That was the light of heaven, which is where she's not going. She's going down to the fires of hell. But there she is. She's a nun. Here lies Cassandra Goff. She was cremated. No, not by her own will. 